Hello everyone, today CRG released Roadmap Roundup with some very interesting things. First we have of course Fauna, Copion and Maroc, nothing special here. New missions that require players to locate, kill and retrieve valuable parts of creatures roaming the environment. I'm looking very forward to Fauna in Star Citizen and now comes the unexpected. The following card has been added to release view, targeting a 3.23.x release. Vehicle Modularity. Implementing the ability to swap modular sections of certain vehicles to change their function. This initial release contains the torpedo and cargo room modules of the HS Retaliator with additional modules and vehicles to be added in the future. We are also getting HS Retaliator Gold Standard, updating the HS Retaliator to Gold Standard, including the introduction of modular rooms. Torpedo and cargo rooms will be available in this initial release, with more to come in the future. CRG talked a lot about modularity in the last 10 years. So far we have seen nothing of it and to be honest I thought this might be dead and now this very good news. Thank you Chris. Here we have Retaliator modules available August 2015. We will get torpedo and cargo modules for Retaliator. But there are supposed to be a lot more. For example here, dropship module. This is very good news that we finally are getting modularity, but I wonder how long it will take until all ships have the modules and if we are getting all the modules CHG promised us in the last 10 years. Ships like Caterpillar, Retaliator, Aurora, Galaxy, Endeavor are supposed to be modular. I want to show you now a video where CRG talked about Caterpillar modules. This is more than 8 years old and of course I just show you the highlights. I hope you found this interesting and see you next time. Bye! Auf Wiedersehen! We're taking a look at the initial design and layout of the Drake Caterpillar. The Caterpillar is an interesting ship just because it's asymmetrical, it has multiple purposes, multiple uses, and just the modularity alone has been kind of kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to take you guys on a journey through the different pieces of this ship. The command module that does detach. So let's start looking at some of the modules. We showed you the cargo module. If you want more crew, you can add more modules. But again, if you add more personnel modules, then you're sacrificing cargo modules or any other modules you want. So it's kind of a give or take what functionality you want. So the front module is going to be its own thing and okay. then you can swap those out and then you're going to have a few modules behind that. So actually let me show you real quick. If we look here, each one of these is a module. So I'm seeing one, which is the front module right here. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, and five. Wow. So we're looking at five modules the player can swap in and out. So for a total of six modules. Yes. There's kind of an armory. So if you're going to be setting up for troops, then you want to have like, you know, a barracks personnel thing so you can fit more people in. Um, it's not as comfortable, but mm -hmm. it's, you have more people. And basically the armory will have host all the weapons, you'll have like a workbench, you'll have like a hollow table so you can kind of preview all of your, um, all of your changes for your loadouts. Then we have a workshop that's um, basically a shop. So let's go to one of the more nicer ones, Medical Bay. So, and up top we have where the doctors would be kind of making sure, checking up on everybody. And then they have like a little elevator here, the chop shop. Well, sorry, mobile salvage. Um, right here we have actually one of the, the barracks module. And this one <coughs> is a docking <laughs> bay or a docking collar, sorry. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of if the caterpillar becomes like a meeting point. Mm -hmm. So, an ex go, go ahead. I was say an example of it is if you look up, I have a few ships up here, kind of using the docking collar just to make sure it works. We're trying to basically figure out how everything fits together, what works. All this is done with metrics, so that way, um, light, medium, and heavy armored people can actually move around within the ship and not have an issue.
And now we have Flickr self-destructing a hover cord at a caterpillar. Let's see if the caterpillar gets destroyed. Okay, Flickr, it's your show. I hope that Flickr can make it. <laughs> Self destruct activated. I hope that Flickr can make it. <laughs> okay, I can I can catch up to the caterpillar. Okay, <laughs> I see a landing gear. Hey, you're still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore SC.